Welcome to the Gamer Down. Hello friends and welcome back to the Gamer Down and Rift Noob Adventures, episode number nine. Formerly Rift Insider. Yeah, I had to change the name. Somebody had already took that site. So, well, I wasn't going to buy the site anyway. And I, I, I'd Googled around for the name and it wasn't there before. So, I'm not saying anything. But, yeah, it's alright. This probably is more fitting because I'm a noob and these are my adventures. But I'm showing you all the cool stuff that I find as I adventure. The reason you're looking at this picture right here of KFG guides or kf guides is uh i wanted to give a shout out to them to at kfguides.com because without their help it would have been a lot harder to make this video and as you see the queues at night are still a nightmare and on the weekends man they're getting way up there hours wait hours the point of this video is to explore and to explain some things that i brought up in the, my last video about finding epics on the ground one of the most awesome things about rift is it, it encourages exploration and with such beautiful beautiful sites you know you're encouraged to go look around all the time but with that also you will find prizes and you'll find little things like scotty here who i've seen scotty in every single zone since the very first zone really and it, it, it i would i can't wait to see the end of his story here but i seem to find him everywhere i you know i, I would like to know what the real story is with scotty i mean mo every monster drops like scotty's watch or scotty's old papers or something like that and in every higher level zone he seems to be a little bit higher level and doing a little bit better but yeah some of the sights are just beautiful and you can find yourself staring at them for long periods of time. Yeah, yeah, you can. And uh, here I've reached Scarwood Reach. Yeah, I've finally got up to enough levels to reach this zone here. And it looks like a pretty awesome zone. I really love the mountains. I gotta say, though, it was a real struggle reaching enough levels up to 28 to get to here because uh, I had to grind out almost all of level 27. And somebody posted somewhere else, you're doing it wrong. Well, you know, maybe I am, but I looked everywhere for quests and I couldn't find any. So today we're going to get back to exploring now. And uh, what I really love about Rift is they, they encourage it so much. And you're allowed to mountain climb. I mean, I, I've climbed mountains that I thought there's no way in hell I can get to the top of it. And one unfortunate thing is there are some invisible walls in areas, and I don't really don't know why they're there. I mean, there's really no point. And I mean, usually they're just borrow, barring a uh, really small area to get to the top. You know, so it's kind of like you go through all this effort to get to the almost to the very top. And then you're blocked. So that sucks. And I always go to the top of these mountains because there's artifacts galore. I mean, I, I found almost complete sets to artifact sets. And that's another encouragement to the exploration to fill out all your sets. And here you see I'm back in around uh, the top of Scarwood here. And some, some strange things you'll find every once in a while things like it'll look like they started to develop something then they kind of gave up on it like right here I'm this might be a puzzle but I or to a quest I, I don't know but it was so hard to get up to this area I, I don't know why it would be a quest or anything if it's just a little developer Easter egg or something like that and, and this area seems so bland and it's completely devoid of creatures and nodes or anything and you see like the the x's like like the mountainous range right there when i kept going forward the game crashed so yeah and it also rolled me back about uh three minutes so i don't know that was kind of weird so always keep that in mind when you're exploring around and you see somewhere kind of iffy you know you might crash and you might get rolled back so there's really nothing you can do about it and and really, I guess there's not much harm to it, but 
you know, you might end up coming back to uh, falling through the end of the uh, end of the world or something. You never know. You never know. But you see, like here, it looks very bland. You know, I mean, it, it looks like they uh, just started on this area and then just said, you know, screw it. We have too much other stuff to do, and just blew it off. I mean, there's lots of areas like that. And, you know, I mean, you can tell that it's just so, just there's nothing there, you know. I mean, there's just the environment. And areas like I was talking about earlier that are barred off by invisible walls for some reason or other. Here's one of them. And, you, yep, you just can't get any further. And, as you can see, there's there was just a little bit more to go to get to the top. And I don't know why they would bar it off. I don't know. Because I am totally against invisible walls of any shape or form. Especially after Age of Conan. Oh my god. And it, it, we've all seen this uh, really cool stump. And, you know, it really, you really should go check it out in person and up close. I mean, you know, that's what the exploration bug is all about. And when you're exploring, try to ride the seams of the mountains right like I am. Like you see like how I'm doing right here. And this is how you get to the top. This is the best way to I've found to climb mountains. And there's a few different techniques, you know, that you, you can pick up for yourself. And just, add, you know, you'll learn as you try to climb the mountain. And like walking sideways or, you know, jumping like a crazy man. But jumping seems to cause more harm than good. And my horse sure as hell doesn't seem to like it very much. Well, I finally reached the top. And as I said before, I mean, there's just artifacts everywhere. And this seems to be the major central part, uh, hub of where all the artifacts are at. They're all at the tops of the mountains. You know, not all of them, but a huge majority of them are. And I've also found that artifacts are all, all different each time that they spawn. I mean, they, they'll seem to be kind of regular but they'll also change around and be a little bit random as well. You know, I mean, they're, they're kind of like out of the same set. And they'll be a random uh, part of a set. So I guess you could camp one artifact and possibly loot a whole set out of them. And here I'm at, the, like, the very tallest peak you can get in, out of Scarwood Reach here. I was just positive something was up here. But nope. This was another one of the bland areas I was talking about earlier. You know, you'll find all these cool artifacts and uh, things seem to be centralized and kind of clustered together. You know, I, you know, all I can think of is that they ran out of development time and just said, you know, screw the artifacts and things and the exploration for a while. And I assume they're going to add all this into a future patch. And here you can see three zones at one time. You see like the Iron Peak over there and what was it Scarlet Gorge down there. And then there's the Reach down there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you know, I mean, just looking at the, uh, the sites alone is one of the rewards. One thing you're going to start noticing right off the bat once you start getting to these higher points in the game is that Talara is a very small area, you know. It's really not that big. And flying mounts would never make it in this game. I mean, you would be able to fly across the whole world in just no time. And there would be ganking, you know, on the PvP servers. Uh, luckily, I play on a PvE one. But I want to correct some things from yesterday's, or the other day's video. Here in these cairns, right here, what they are, are rewards for doing the quest. You only get the really awesome item one time. And when you get to, like, these peaks here, you'll usually get an achievement, and then you'll, ha you'll just loot the cairn right here. And I was trying to find that puzzle in Silverwood to start off this video. And I thought, you know, it was called a high point, and I was going to all the high points. And I was looking, as you see across, that, that looked like the tallest mountain over there. So I was like, yeah, I know for sure that it has to be over there on that mountain. And I, then I get up here, and it's, and it's basically another one of those planned zones. And I was like, man, you know, where the hell is this thing? But I, I did want to correct that about the Cairns is the badass item is only in there one time and it's when you do the achievement or do the puzzle or something like that. It's not a thing you can loot over and over. Uh, when you loot it the second time you just get crap. So that was my mistake but 
the first time, you know, you have a really good chance of getting epics. And the key to getting epics is you have to be high level when you do the puzzle to the zone. Or you do the achievement. And, uh, you know, it's very hazardous when you're exploring. So always be very, very careful that your mount doesn't slip and fall. Now you're probably asking, puzzles? What are these puzzles? And if you look in your achievements, you'll find that there are, uh, you know, puzzles in every single zone. And here you see I just got this achievement here. And I, because I finally did reach the highest mountain in Silverwood. And it turns out you reach it from the highlands, you know. <laughs> and you see, at this time it only contained a green, you know. So you, you'll get either greens, you know, uncommon items, or you'll get blues and you'll sometimes get epics. It, it seems like a higher chance for epics. I've got two epics, and I've got one blue from, uh, let me see, like out of the three puzzles I did. So that's pretty damn good odds, you know. I mean, you're probably going to at least get one epic when you do your first puzzle. And like I mentioned before, you want to be of you know higher level than the puzzle so you'll get the best reward and here's how you get in you'll see the where i've got my uh, mouse right there that's where i entered at and i just followed the mountain range to where i am right there and like i said you'll either get an achievement and you'll find a little cairn a little bit down you know from where you got your achievement or right where you got your achievement actually and uh inside of it will be the dusky bag that contains your rewards and uh, after thinking long and hard I started to remember I started to remember in my beta videos a place in Silverwood that was really really high and I thought you know I bet that is the high point they're talking about and you'll see like when you loot the item again you'll just get crap so there's no, really no point to just stand there and keep looting it. Uh, yeah, I was stupid enough to try that. And I, after trying multiple times, there is nothing. And as you'll see, there there's actually rare artifacts out there. So, yeah, that's pretty neat, huh? This is at Overwatch, by the way. And uh, I know that I'd looted this artifact once before, and it wasn't uh, the same item. So Here, I finally got my head out of my ass and remembered where this high point is. And it's at Overwatch. You, t you click on the plaque, and how you solve this puzzle is you just turn to your left and, and click on the plaque right to your left each time. Just keep just keep turning left, and then go straight, and then click on the plaque. Turn left, go straight, click on the plaque. Go left, turn straight, go... <laughs> yeah, I think you get the idea. Anyhow, that, that's how you solve the puzzle, and... Um, it, it, it's pretty neat, man. I, I think uh, I either got a blue or epic off this part. This is why I wanted to thank that uh, KF Guides site, KFG Guides or whatever it is, KF Guides, <laughs> because uh, I wouldn't have been able to solve this probably without them. And they seem to have all the puzzles and everything up there. I could have just said, yeah, I'm super smart, I'm super badass, and I did this all just the first try. You know, I'm just that awesome, but no, that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Sometimes you do have to search the web a little bit. And I'm trying to approach this game as a complete newbie, and I'm trying to, you know, experience it as a complete newbie. And as you see, we finally reached the very top, and all you have to do is just loot that key right there, and then you finally have the key to the chest. And inside, well, you actually have to loot it twice. I don't know why you have to loot it twice. You know, I don't know. So, yeah. We unlock it. Now we have to loot it again. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't make any sense to me either. And I also got my achievement for doing the puzzle. And you get that achievement for every single zone. There's a puzzle in every zone. And it's well, well worth it. And there's the blue item I got right there. That's pretty damn cool for just, you know, such easy work. And with sites like that, uh, you know, KF Guides, you know, all you have to do is just, it takes like a few minutes, you know, and you could, you could go to every zone. But you do want to be of level to make sure you get the best reward. And that's about it. Just be forewarned that when you're exploring zones that you have a really good chance of getting stuck. And I really wish they would do something about getting stuck or make it easier to get unstuck. There's like a 24 hour 
cooldown on the damn uh, stuck thing, you know. And, and here I thought for sure I was going to have to walk all the way back here. And I tried to get out of here and tried to get out of here and tried to get out of here. And it was just finally by just sheer luck. It took me uh, probably about 20 minutes, but I cut that part out so you didn't have to see it. And it probably would have taken me less time to just hearth out of here and, and to just go back, you know, on foot. No, I just couldn't do that. And here is another puzzle I wanted to show you. And this was a pretty neat little puzzle, I thought. And uh, as you see on my map here, exactly where I am in Gloomwood. And there's a lot of quests where I'm standing at right here. And if you're on the Guardian side, you've quested in this area quite a bit. And you know exactly where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why the Defiant couldn't do these puzzles. Maybe they can. I'm not sure if it's uh, faction oriented or what. But what you do is you click on the plaque. And then you follow it down, follow the stairs down. And you'll look on the wall here. And here's the puzzle. Isn't it cool? And what's the, the point of this puzzle is you're trying to match the shields to the design on the ceiling. And what you do is you click on the appropriate buttons and the shields will move uh, towards that button there. But let me say once again without the help of that KF guide site I would have been standing here screwing with this for a very very long period of time and you see I just solved it in just a matter of seconds using the guide you know it made it very very simple for me and I, yeah I, I cheated I don't care <laughs> I really don't it's in my time I, I just don't have time to be screwing around finding uh, the solution on my own as fun as that is I know that people find that very fun sometimes but you see in what I got in this bag here yeah oh yeah another epic and that out of three puzzles I've got a blue a blue and two epics you know I, I, the one was an achievement actually that I got one of the epics off of so the rewards are very very awesome and so get out there and do the puzzles and I hope I've cleared up any confusion from my other video about like finding the epics on the ground and everything and sitting there and looting that Karen don't do that just go do the puzzles in each zone when you're appropriate level and that's about it for this episode this is the gamer down and I am your host dark hostess please thumbs up videos and subscribe all that good stuff it really helps me out and helps the channel out and gives me reason to keep doing these and I have other reasons you know. I like to do it it's fun so until next time you guys take care of yourself bye bye